Hello everybody, my name is H&M and welcome to Advancement Tutorials. In this series I'm going to show you everything you need to know about advancements in Minecraft 17W13B Snapshot. So advancements are basically going to overwrite achievements but they are customizable. So you can go into a world folder like this, go into data and add your own advancements over here. We can just go into the resource pack here that I extracted from the version and there is recipes and story. In the story there is basically things like smelt iron, um, obtain shiny gear, mine stone, upgrade tools, etc. And these are all in JSON format so if we look at the brew potion we can see it has a display, an icon and a title. So. Uh, it displays an icon in the achievements menu which is now the advancements menu and it has a title so that's about the same so it has a parent which is like the previous uh, achievement you had to obtain or now called advancements and the criteria to meet if you meet these criter criteria you will get the advancement so I will teach you exactly how you can edit these files and how you can create your own custom advancements and yeah and in this snapshot there is no custom recipes yet but I will cover those soon when 17w14a comes out and hopefully adds these recipes so first off you need to know um, you have to have a text editor I'm using sublime text because it's really cool because you can select the um, where is it there it is you can select JSON coloring so it will automatically um, syntax uh, format your code so we have text and that's that sort of stuff and if you make an error like this it will mark it in red and it's useful because it uh, completes your brackets and it uh, you know it helps you navigate around a bit and sublime text is sublime I guess so get sublime text um, I'll link it in the description below or any other text editor of your choice um, and next you need to go to your versions folder in Minecraft um, so application support for Mac on Windows that is just percent up data percent and you know the gist if you don't um, there should be a lot of videos around or Wikipedia pages to go to your .minecraft folder or Minecraft folder and from there you go to versions and then to the version 17w13b where you just extract it with whatever utility and what comes out of that is basically this except it also has a ton of class files and what I uh, like to do is just search for class and everything that's a Java class and I will delete every file that it finds and it will delete all the Java class file so you're left with just the assets and the pack so in the assets is basically the resource packs and here you have advancements and the other stuff so loot tables also and recipes so we'll look into this another time like anvil for example that's the pattern and I'll show you how to make uh, custom recipes later um, I could already show you but they are not like we can't use them in game yet so I'll cover those later so first off advancements so here you just take the advancements and you have the story advancements these are basically shown in the advancements menu over here as you can see there doesn't seem to be anything there and why is that you ask well if we go to the root which is basically the first advancement in a in a tab which basically opens up the new tab we find display minecraft grass title minecraft and the background this we haven't met these criteria yet we haven't gotten a crafting table so it doesn't show us anything in the advancements because we haven't unlocked this so if we look in root.json we see that we need a crafting table because when we read this from top to bottom we can see it displays something and then the criteria. Alright, criteria, crafting table. What does crafting table need? A trigger when your inventory changes, 
And what are the conditions? Alright, you need an item. What item? A crafting table. So, you can really easily read these JSON files, like, just use a little bit of common sense. Basically, every time you take a tab, it means it's within this block. And so, everything within the block criteria with these two brackets is crafting table, so that's a criteria. And within the crafting table, we have a trigger, which is basically saying, all right, what what will what will trigger this advancement? When when should the game check if this advancement is actually gotten? So it checks if an inventory is changed, and that's an event in the game. That's an event in game, and if your inventory changes, it will look for the conditions. And if the conditions are met, so if you have an item called a Minecraft crafting table, it will unlock the advancement, and we can show that. By just typing in crafting table and we get a crafting table boom we're in game at one but that doesn't matter go into advancements and you can see it unlocked minecraft which as we can see is the title here and also it will select the background which is over here and it will select the icon minecraft grass as you can see here and it also unlocks the next two in the row uh, the next two in the line, so mine stone upgrade tools, which you can see in here are mine stone and upgrade tools. So now you know about how advancements work and how they are displayed and what everything means in root. Um, so you can link everything icon, their title, it's displayed if you hover over it and oops the background which is displayed here if you have multiple tabs you can have different backgrounds per tab and the criteria which is what you need to get this screen so to um, give another example real quick is um, Mindstone all right Mindstone it has this icon and this title as we could have seen just to go um, yeah Wooden pickaxe and minestone, that's the, the name. And we can see the parent is Minecraft Story Root. So this is a parent, and that's basically the previous advancement, and that's uh, root. So that's the other file, file name. And in this criteria, we also have inventory change. So we're gonna check this time for cobblestone in our inventory. So we don't need a wooden pickaxe necessarily as long as we get cobblestone if we can find it so we drop it on the ground we still don't have it and we pick it up or get it somehow in our inventory and that was a little glitch as you can see we get this it turns gold and the next uh, advancement in the line also opens up so you can look ahead a little bit what's coming up and that's pretty cool so um, this is the first episode where I just quickly show what advancements are and get you started with, uh, like get you started with the basic tools what you need, like sublime text and a little bit of JSON magic here, just extracting from from the jar file and removing the class file so it doesn't clutter up your hard disk, and you have your basic advancements in there in the resource pack basically. So it's basically a resource pack, but it also has advancements, loot tables, and recipes, and structures. So it has everything data-driven in here, so you can easily uh, modify things and see what the defaults are for Minecraft. And that's just generally very handy. So yeah, that's the first episode on advancements. Um, I might call this this zeroth episode, because it's really just an introduction. and so to really really quickly recap what we've done is um, get the editor, um, extract the advancements from the default jar and look what, a, what is inside the JSON file and what everything means. So next time we'll go and uh, modify this ourselves and see what we can make for advancements. Maybe we can like have instead of mining stone we want to see if we what happens if we mine nether quartz so we're going to make nether achievements and then we have to change some things 
in here. So this only triggers when we get quartz and we only get it when um, not after story root but after the nether for example. So yeah, anyways I hope you understand everything. You have. If you have questions uh, ask them in the comments below. Um, that's about it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.